So today we're back in the kitchen. Uh, hello to all my viewers. It's great to see you. Um, it's a Saturday, so I'm just kind of like natural. Um, so I'm going to make this recipe that my friend Laura in Truro, hi Laura and Sean in Truro, um, sent to me. However, I don't have the particular ingredients. So if you look outside, it's raining. I don't want to go to the store. So I started to look around the pantry, look around the kitchen, and I thought, all right, I'm going to modify it. All right. So it's called, um, I believe it's called spaghetti pie or spinach and spaghetti pie that Laura sent me. I don't have spaghetti. I have angel hair, but eh, I, I thought I have diddlini. So I'm going to cook up diddlini. It says four ounces. I'm going to make eight ounces, um, a large egg, a cup of sour cream, quarter cup of grated Parmesan. I'm going to get that ready over here. Um, garlic powder, Monterey mm -hmm. Jack cheese, but I have shredded, regular shredded, regular shredded cheddar cheese. And um, it says a frozen package of spinach, 10 ounces. I don't have spinach, so what I'm going to use is broccoli. It's green, and I'm going to have to chop it up a little bit, but I'll do that. And then, um, I don't have french fried onions either, so I'm going to modify. As a good teacher, I always modify, so I'm going to use crunched up potato chips. All right, I'm going to get all those things ready, and then I'll show you how we're going to put them all together. Over here, I'm going to shred the cheddar. So I'm just going to get it started here. And um, looks like I need um, two cups. Ooh. So I'm going to be using lots of different kinds of cheddar. I've got some curry gold reserve cheddar. I've got some um, Santori farmhouse cheddar, extra sharp and rich. So we're going to sh shred and shred <laughs> and shred until oh. I get two cups. All right, now I'm going to pour in the diddlini. And I've been taught by some good cooks that uh, once it starts to boil, I'm not going to let it boil like crazy because it breaks up the pasta too much. So here it's back to boil. You let it boil for a minute. And the pasta needs to cook for 10 minutes. So I'm going to crank it up, shut off the heat let that stew without really breaking it down. All right, then we're gonna get our broccoli and uh, we're gonna cook it first and then chop it all up. Setting up the broccoli, a little bit of water. Get a plate to cover it in the microwave. Let it cook on its own while putting the other things together. Still shredding. Still shredding. <laughs> Sometimes good packaged pre-shredded cheese is good. <laughs> uh, but still, not worth going out to the store. Alright. It's not two cups yet. I gotta shred some more. Alright, I'll be shredding for a while. I'm still shredding. I need assistance for this. Mm -hmm. I have two cups almost. Shredding. Taking out the broccoli. Right. The broccoli, I'm going to drain. Actually, I might let it, have to let it sit for a little bit. I'm just going to let it sit for a minute. Then I'm going to stop the cooking. Uh, meanwhile, back to the pasta. It's cooking very nicely. The diddlini. Laura, right, let's see how this comes out. It's just so much modification. <laughs> right now we're just gonna grate some Parmesan. Um, need a quarter cup. So, more grating, and grating, and grating. Makes it fresh though, nice and fresh. All right. Gonna keep going. Um. Okay, draining the broccoli. I'm gonna add some cool water before I get to cut it down. Stop that cooking. There she goes, nice. 
So I'm gonna chop it finely, because it's supposed to be spinach in this spinach spaghetti pie. But we're gonna see how it comes out. All right, there's the pasta. It's ready. Let this be cool water. All right, fill that up and let it sit in cool water for a little bit. And there you go. Let's check our pasta. How it's going. Check our didalini. I love that. Didalini. Mm, didalini is diddy delicious. Oh, perfect. Wow. Awesome. Let it drain it. Get it ready for our recipe. Alright, the broccoli has cooled. I'm gonna give it a good drain. Chop it into little pieces. I get it started while you're watching. And, uh, kind of fast forward it. Now, since this does call for spinach, I'm just gonna chop this up pretty small. Oops! <laughs> Gotta watch those fingers. All right, I'm gonna keep chopping. Here's our broccoli, all chopped up. Getting ready to put into the mixture. All right, the didalini is draining. The broccoli is waiting. And now, and now we're going to mix up the mixture that um, brings it all together. So we got an egg. So now we're gonna mix the egg. We beat the egg. Mm. Add the sour cream. We're gonna add a whole cup of sour cream. One, two. It's a lot of sour cream. <laughs> Four, there we go. We're gonna mix that in. The egg. I'm gonna get every bite, every little morsel of sour cream. Mm, it looks, looks like lemon curd, mm. doesn't it? Oh. Mm. And then we're gonna add a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, a little garlic powder. This is a quarter teaspoon. Eh, it's about a quarter teaspoon, right? Love garlic powder. Um, and I'm gonna add, um, since I don't have French fried onions, I'm gonna add some minced onion. Just for a little more flavor. Right. There we go. And mix that all up. Mm. Now, the next thing is to get the oven ready. This stuff, this mixture is getting ready. Let's put the oven on, 350. All right, here's the didalini. Now it's all going into this mixture that we've just created. Didalini. Could be better drained, but oh, it's a little moisture. All right, there we go. All the didalini's going in. Cheese, two cups of cheese is going in. One, looks like a little more, but all right, that's good. And our broccoli. And the recipe says add half the onions, but we're just going to add half of our potato chip mixture. All right, there we go. Gotta mix it up. Doesn't look too bad, Laura. Looks great, doesn't it? It's just a little different. You'll have to try this one. <laughs> all right, mix it all in there. All right, mixing, mixing, mixing. It's time to grease the pan. Oh yeah. Uh, two quart pan, two quart glass pan. We're gonna pour it all in and um. One thing I was thinking about, 
always like to add flavor to my dishes. So I'm gonna add a little pepper, fresh packed pepper. Again, get every bite, every little morsel of goodness here. It's sticking, so we get my handy spatula. Mmm, yummy. It's ready. Looks good. Almost looks like a pasta salad. <laughs> it's gonna be a hot pasta salad. Yum. All right, put pepper on top. All right, then we're gonna add the rest of our should be jerky onion rings, but eh, they're low sodium potato chips. They'll add the little crunch that the recipe calls for. You can just hear the crunch, right? All right. Let me just double check the recipe before I put it in the oven. In my haste to get on video, I put the chips on top, which you're not supposed to do until it's baked a little while. So we're gonna rectify that a little later. But now I'm gonna cover, put it in the oven for 30 minutes. Laura, thanks for the recipe. We'll see how it comes out. Thirty minutes, three fifty. Here we go. All right, that's the timer that says thirty minutes is up, and we are ready. Just gonna shut that off. So, the next step, besides taking it out, is to top it with the crunchies. And the crunchies, again, like I said before, is supposed to be jerky onions, fried onions in a can. However, I made a mistake and put some on, but I modified again, I modified my own. I did some chips, um, minced onions, and some pepper. So I'm gonna put those on top, and then it goes back in the oven for another five minutes uncovered. It's, uh, it's the title of the recipe is called Monterey Spaghetti. However, I'm going to call it, I don't know, Monterey Delini. There you go. All right, so we're gonna put these, sprinkle them on top. I'm just gonna do what it says. And put the crunchies. Get that all on there. Get it ready. Back in the oven for five minutes or so. It's always fun to cook, modify recipes. Sometimes it's difficult. There we go. All right, it's time to take it out. Now, I realize it could be browner. It probably would be much browner with the jerky onion rings, but here we go. There it is. I'm gonna shut off the oven and um, Let's see how it tastes. Um, before we taste it, make sure if you like this video, like and subscribe, please. I, I usually forget that. I have myself a little memo here. Um, thanks to Laura Scribner Potenza for sending the recipe. Um, she's from Truro, Massachusetts. Um, and if you want to send me recipes, I will love it. And then I can test them out. Um, the best time to test them out would be in the summer, June, July, and August. So if you have any great summer recipes you want to test out, um, Please send them at mrperlman at yahoo.com. Um, there should be a link down below. And um, let's check out this. Always like to taste my, my goods. Monterey Didelini. Just gonna put a little bit there. Looks really good, look at that steam. Yummy. All right, thank you. All right. Look at it, look, it's just, ah. All right, let's try it. Get a little broccoli, a little cheese, a little didalini. Gotta have that little crunch right there. All right, here goes. There's nothing. Again, thanks, Lara. Hi, Sean, miss you. Hope to see you guys soon. Mmm. Yum. Love the cheese. Love the crunch. Love the broccoli. Broccoli is like one of my favorite vegetables. So um, I'll have to try it with the spaghetti and normal. 
uh, Monterey spaghetti another time. That's what's cooking with Mr. LP. Enjoy your cooking. <laughs>